e pessoas ruchas and mas and visual oje idemos jajira vilo es poder from markham now i should have reacted to this video a long time ago if you look on the brazilian norcore channel with english subtitles you would see that this song is one of the most watched songs that was translated for me. I have not reacted to it yet. I do not know a lot about Dragon Ball Z, but I'm very excited. Let's get into it. Mm. We have Markham starting off as Vegeta, which I was actually a little bit surprised by. When I saw that he was Vegeta, I expected a lot more aggression and intensity. But that's not what he did. He did something a little bit different. Markham decided to not be as aggressive, but he decided to be more cocky. And there were some uh, elements of aggression, obviously, with the uh, last part, but I love how you can hear the attitude and the confidence in his voice, which is exactly like Vegeta. So, very interesting for Markham. I like that. <laughs> Mm. So that is hockey as Frieza. This is what I was expecting from a Dragon Ball Z villains rap. I expected a lot of aggression and Hockey did exactly what I expected. Um, yeah, nothing to complain about. I really love Hockey's voice. And I think I've said this a lot in my other reactions that uh, Hockey was in. I love Hockey's voice. I think he's just, um, he can do anything pretty much. So I love how he was able to completely do something different from uh, Markham's verse. So, grapple. And of course, for Android 17 and 18, you have to bring Enigma and Mystery. I consider Enigma and Mystery to be the dynamic duo of the community. Obviously, there are a lot more duos, such as like Seven Minutos and everything, but in terms of just the amount of cohesion with duos, I think Enigma and Mystery are just so amazing together because they are both incredibly great artists on their own, but when they're able to work with each other and essentially uh, sing and rap together, you can see their strengths are even better. For example, 
Enigma is very good at the aggression. He brings the power to it. And then you have Mystery's voice. She brings a very melodic tone to it. And there's this hint of, there's a hint of beauty to it. And obviously both of them are both melodic and uh, powerful on their own. But when you have them together and they're able to go off of each other's rapping, you can see their uh, strengths are even better. So by far the best duo. <laughs> Before we talk about Majin Buu. <laughs> Dadui as Cell. Now, Dadui did something very similar to Markham's uh, first verse, where it wasn't just power, but it was confidence. It was condescending. I love how in the, his voice, you could feel that he was talking down on everyone. So I really love that. And then... He adds that intensity at the end, which I think just wakes you up a bit more. And you have to remember that everyone here is powerful. So, all the Madadoui, I like that. Before we talk about the chorus, Akashi Cruz as Majin Buu, by far one of my favorite verses because of how different and how unique it was. I love how he was uh, able to incorporate both uh, versions of Majin Buu. You had the very large one, the more childlike one. And when he was rapping as that version, you could tell that he was having more fun with it. It was way more unique. And then when he starts to rap as the more serious and smaller version, that's when he starts to rap faster. There's a, a lot more aggression and power in his voice. So I love that. Majin Buu is such an interesting character. And I love how Akashi Cruz was able to be very creative uh, with portraying him. So by far, one of my favorite verses. <laughs>
Markham powering up. I love that. Getting two different sides of Vegeta. You have the more condescending, confident one. And then you have just the plain evil and menace to society. So I love that. Markham being able to essentially have uh, two versions of him, which I absolutely love. And also, I love how uh, obviously the M stands for uh, Majin Vegeta. It also stands for bad, stands for evil. But of course, it stands for Markham as well. Markham's a villain. It's confirmed. I'm sorry. Markham's the real villain in the community. <laughs> I love though. I love Markham's music. It's, he's incredible. Shiny as beer is. That's very interesting. Shiny is by far one of the best singers and rappers to make you feel emotional. So hearing him on a rap that's more aggressive is very interesting. I love what he does with his voice here, especially because you can feel it. It's almost as if as he's performing, you can feel the amount of effort he's giving and that's incredible there's something about it i need to listen to it again yeah like in those small portions you can feel the anger and like the aggression in, in his throat essentially so Hearing Shiny on this is actually very interesting, seeing how he's able to have different styles and convey different emotions. It's incredible, I like that. Mm. Ooh. So Henrique Mendonca as Goku Black. I especially love how Henrique Mendonca, he is bringing the villainous energy. I love just how descriptive and he's just describing how he's able to slaughter people. Just a villain. And oh, obviously his voice is credible and it's a perfect uh, voice for a villain. So Enrique Mendonca doing his usual thing of being an amazing performer, singer, and rapper. <laughs> Kaito as Jiren. Ooh. Jiren is a very interesting villain because he is so unassuming. When you look at Jiren, he is he seems kind of lame. This this is he's supposed to be a powerful person and he looks kind of average. He looks plain. But then I love how uh, Kaito was able to give 
Jiren, this personality that's very similar to Vegeta's, which is that cocky, condescending attitude, but like to a different level. So I like that. It, I, I said it before, I do not know about Dragon Ball Z. I didn't watch it, but I love how just giving uh, more insight to Jiren's personality and basically how he sees everyone. He sees everyone as weaker. He's even better than the God of Destruction. And yeah, that's it. So well done. Bye, Kaito. <laughs> oh, Kabe. <laughs> what can I say other than Oh, Kabe really felt anger in his verse? It sounded like someone really made him angry the, like the day of he was recording this and he just used that aggression to rap. He sounds so angry. Who, are, are you okay, Okabe? Hopefully you're okay. But <laughs> I especially love how he doesn't just start with the aggression. He starts with this melodic tone and then he just becomes aggressive. Very unpredictable, like uh, Broly. So, oh, very good. Also, green's like my favorite color, so I'm very biased right here because green, green's a good color. <laughs> And finally, at the end, Basada as Moro. Moro is very interesting. Uh, actually, Basada is because he almost ends it the same way that Markham starts it. He, he ends it in a very calmer than expected way. But even though he's so calm, there's that attitude of his. So I need to listen to it again. <laughs> Yeah, like, I love the attitude in the way of, it seems like Basada, he wanted to end this very similar to how Moro uh, perceives uh, Goku and Vegeta and, and all the other heroes. It almost seems like he doesn't care. Moro knows that he's stronger than pretty much everyone else. So why does he care about being angry. So, Basada choosing to just be calm and Basada knows that, yeah, I don't need to be aggressive. I already know I'm strong. So, I love that attitude uh, change and that just change in delivery from what I was expecting.
power. That's all I can say. Uh, by far, this is probably the most unexpected uh, rap I listened to. And not just because I haven't seen it, but just the way that everyone rapped and the styles that were used. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't ready for it. And I think it's a good thing because power is a lot more than just physical strength. Power can be, power can be, I'm trying to figure out a good example, but power can also be intelligence, power can be charisma, and power can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. So the fact that everyone, or mostly everyone, went with a different way of displaying their power was incredible. And they didn't just scream, they didn't just use aggression. They talked, they used their attitude, they described why they were powerful. So I love the flexibility in all these artists and the creativity that everyone used here. So a really pleasant surprise for me. But thank you all so much for watching. Please leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let me know who is your favorite villain from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, despite my lack of knowledge, mine has to be uh, Majin Buu. Majin Buu is such a dumb character and I love him. Uh, I also played him a lot when I played um, Dragon Ball Fighters, So a little bit biased there. But, but uh, let me know who your favorite uh, villain is in the comment section down below. And please let me know what else I should be reacting to. Until then, hope the cop was the steed. Simply ordinary. Howdy.